Now in this lesson we're looking at what's known as degrees and minutes, okay, working with degrees and minutes. Examples. We need to find the value of x correct to one decimal place. So as before, some old hags can't always hide their old age. It's always our first step. Now identifying the two sides, there's our angle, all right, 32 degrees and 17 minutes. Let's just focus on that for a moment. The 32 degrees, we're used to seeing degrees, but each degree can in fact be split up into a smaller measure known as minutes, all right? And in fact, 60 minutes make up one degree. Now the minutes, of course, have nothing to do with time. However, minutes and degrees, there are 60 minutes in a degree. So there is a bit of similarity, okay? 60 minutes, of course, make up the one hour, don't they? So degrees and minutes. So let's get back. Identifying the sides, we have x, which is directly opposite the angle. And then we have the 28, which is the longest side. So it's the hypotenuse. So opposite and hypotenuse, we're going to be using sine. So we're using sine. The angle is 32 degrees, 17 minutes. So let's write that down. The sine of 32 degrees, 17 minutes. That equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. So it will equal x over 28. Now let's rewrite that. We're trying to get x by itself, so we're going to get rid of the 28. Okay, It's being divided by that 28, so we need to multiply both sides by that 28. They will cancel down on the right side. So we got the x by itself. Terrific. 28 times the sine of 32 degrees 17 minutes. Let's write that down. And then when we use the calculator to enter that, we get that x equals 15.0. It's been rounded off to one decimal place. Righto. What about this though? Okay, how did we get that? Did you get that? Well, if not, let's use the calculator. Let's get the calculator out. We make sure that it is in degrees mode. Then 28 times sine 32. Now we hit the degrees, minutes, seconds button. Okay, that is the degrees, minutes, seconds button. That's what it looks like. Some calculators, it might have DMS. Okay, degrees, minutes, seconds. So we've entered the 32 degrees, then we hit the 17, and then again. All right, that's the 17 minutes then. Press equals, and we should get 14.9549. Now, if your calculator isn't getting that, that's fine. What that means is generally you'll have to do that part first, the sine of 32 degrees 17 minutes first. So we actually put in the angle, 32 degrees. 17 minutes, okay, we've entered that angle, then take the sine of that. So, so far we've taken the sine of it, and then we still have to multiply by that 28. We press equals then, and hopefully you will get that answer. Now, it's important that you find out which method your calculator operates under. Excellent. Example 2 now, find the value of m correct to two decimal places. Well, some old hags can't always hide their old age. Identifying the two sides from the angle there, directly opposite is 95, so that is our opposite side. M is next to the angle, so it is our adjacent side. So we have opposite and adjacent. So we're going to be using the tan ratio. So we're using tan, the angle is 43 degrees 55 minutes, so we're going to write tan of 43 degrees 55 and that equals the opposite over the adjacent. So look at your diagram very carefully. It's going to equal the 95 over the m. Now let's rewrite that. Need to get rid of the fractions. So let's get rid of the m by multiplying both sides by the m. On the right side they will cancel each other out. So we have that at the moment. We still want the m by itself though, don't we? At the moment it's being multiplied by the tan 43 degrees 55 minutes. So to get rid of that we need to divide through both sides by it. On the left hand side they will cancel each other out. So excellent, we have the m by itself, so therefore m equals and 95 divided by the tan of 43 degrees 55 minutes works out to be 98.66, this time being rounded off to two decimal places. Terrific. Right, let's just go back though. How did we do this on the calculator? Making sure it's in degrees mode. The 95 firstly. 95, it's being divided by the tan of 43 degrees 55 minutes. So we write tan 43, hit the degrees button, 55 
minutes. Alright, so depending on which button you've got, okay, either that funny symbol one or the DMS button, press equals should get 98.6621. Right, if you're not quite getting that, what that means, okay, using the other way with the calculator, 95 divided by, and then the tan, 43 degrees, 55 minutes, put it in backwards. So put the angle in firstly, so 43 degrees, 55 minutes, then take the tan of that, press equals and hopefully you're getting that answer. Right, so it's important to identify which 